Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here with Coach Katie, and we're gonna go over this week's Simple and Sinister Workout. So we're gonna have six stations, 25 seconds of work, you'll have 15 seconds to rotate to the next station. We're gonna go around the room five times, and you'll have a 40-second break between rounds. You ready, Katie? I'm ready. Okay, so we're gonna start on the ropes here. Now we're gonna do our reverse fly. So you're gonna be facing away from the wall. You're gonna step in a little closer to the wall, so you have some slack in those ropes, soft bend in those elbows as you focus on squeezing those shoulder blades, pulling those hands hands up, the ropes going to give you a little bit of resistance here as well, keeping that chest out over those toes. Now, if you need to take some pressure off that lower back, you can put one foot forward, one Ooh, foot back, <laughs> squeezing those shoulder blades, trying to keep that back straight here as you pull those hands back. From there, we're going to coat over to our suspension trainer, and we're going to be working on our triple squat. So, for the triple squat, you're gonna go lunge, lunge, squat here, starting with those elbows at your ribs, extend those arms out as you go down, driving up on that front leg here, lunge, lunge, squat. Now, if you wanna take it up a notch, you can add that lunge jump in here. So lunge jump, lunge jump, squat jump, as fast and as high as you can on these, taking your time, remember, deep breath in on the way down, push that air out as you're driving back up. And of course, if you really wanna challenge yourself, you can do these without that suspension trainer as well. From there, we're coming out to the blue floor. We're gonna be doing some pike toe touches. So, from our push-up position here, Katie's gonna pike up nice and high, get those hips up high, reaching for that foot with the opposite hand, so her left hand goes towards her right foot, her right hand goes toward her left foot. Now, if you wanna shower, first I wanna say, notice how Katie's coming back to that plank position. She's squeezing those glutes tight, so she's not staying up in that pike position. She's coming back down, driving back up. If you wanna challenge yourself a little bit more, you can add that push-up in, pike toe touch, push-up, pike toe touch. Go through these as quickly as you can. Remember, focus on your form. Make that adjustment as you need to as you're getting tired. Maybe you go from those push-ups to just doing those straight pike toe touches. Okay, from there, we're coming over to our, our kettlebells, and we're gonna be doing our kettlebell clean. So, chest up, arch that lower back, yank that kettlebell up. Remember, as you pull it in, you're gonna tuck those elbows in, getting that kettlebell up to your chest, elbows under your wrist, squeezing those glutes nice and tight. Deep breath in on the way down. Push that air out as you gank that kettlebell up towards your chest. From there, we're rotating over to our skiers. Now when we get on the skier, we're thinking about power on each pull here. So we're gonna reach high and then pull hard. So deep breath in, coming up to those toes. Sit that butt back as you pull those hands back and pushing that air out as you pull down here. From there, we're rotating over to our last station where we're gonna be doing our dumbbell Romanian deadlift. So, you're gonna grab two dumbbells here. You're gonna get just a soft bend in those knees as you sit that butt back. You're gonna take those dumbbells almost like they're riding down your thighs and your shins, going as low as you feel comfortable, and then driving back up. Now remember, you don't have to get your chest below your hips here. I just want you to go down as low as you feel comfortable. As you go down, you're gonna feel a nice stretch through those hamstrings. As you drive back up, you're gonna feel that contraction. You're gonna squeeze those glutes nice and tight. Chest up, shoulders back at the top, maintaining that neutral spine as you take those dumbbells down towards your toes. Okay, that's our simple and sinister workout for this week. Great job, Kay. Thanks, it's a good one.